was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, fashion content, beauty content, all of that fun stuff and I would love to have you a part of our little community here. So welcome. So just to bring you up to speed, you are officially joining in on what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series. Today we're going to be going over one of my favorite fueling hacks with the roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes fueling on the Optavia 5-in-1 program. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more of a fun way that you can eat your garlic smashed potatoes, keep on watching. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> So just for a little bit of extra background, just so you know, on my Optavia 5-in-1 program, I do have five fuelings that I eat once per day that come in my Optavia Premier monthly box, and then I eat one lean and green meal a day. And if you've been on the Optavia program for a long enough time, you'll know that the garlic mashed potatoes are pretty good but they can get a little boring and sometimes you just want to switch things up. I personally find myself definitely craving something with the consistency of like bread or something crunchy or something crispy. And when I think of mashed potatoes, those sound good. They sound like a carb, but they don't really fulfill that texture craving that I'm really looking for. So a really fun way that you can switch things up with your feelings on your program is what's called fueling hacks. And that's what we're going to be doing today with our mashed potatoes. We're going to change these roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes into almost like a hash brown waffle. And you can top it with one of your favorite condiments. You can put all of these different things on there to make it the way that you want, but I'll show you the basics of how you can make it and let's get started. So one of the main components of this fueling hack video is going to be a dash mini waffle maker. These things are key. Anytime you're gonna get on an Optavia program of any kind, I definitely recommend getting a dash mini waffle maker. And they're only like $10. They sell them at Target. I know you can get them on Amazon. You can get them a bunch of different places. They're only like 10 bucks and they are such a game changer when you're on your program when you wanna change things up. So getting a dash mini waffle maker is gonna be key for this recipe. You're also gonna want a cooking spray of some kind just so that you can grease your waffle maker and make sure that your potato waffle does not stick. You're gonna need a half a cup of water and then you're obviously gonna need your roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes fueling. On top of your waffle there are a couple different condiment options you can use. Totally depends on personal preference but I have a couple here that you guys can use in case you're interested. I personally really like the Laughing Cow spreadable cheese wedges. I have the creamy light Swiss version and then I also have the creamy garlic and herb version which is super delicious. I also also really like their spicy pepper jack. They were out of that at the store today. I'm sorry, but if you can try that one out, that one's great as well. You are allowed to have one cheese wedge on your program that counts as one condiment. As another condiment, you can also use the Philadelphia one third reduced fat cream cheese. The reason why I like putting cream cheese on my potato waffle is it almost emulates like a bagel with cream cheese, which is obviously delicious for so many reasons. So if you want to add cream cheese on top of your waffle, you can. You can do one tablespoon of the one third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese, and that will also count as one condiment. And last but not least, and this is probably what I'll end up doing, is I love the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. And this, again, kind of emulates the bagel. You're gonna have the crunch and you're gonna have the bread consistency almost in your waffle so that if you want to sprinkle on top the everything but the bagel seasoning, it's super delicious and it's gonna also not be too much fat added to your diet. So that's normally what I end up putting on top of mine. Or you could do a combination. You could put the seasoning as well as the cream cheese if you want to basically have an everything bagel. So I will go ahead and get started with this recipe and I'll show you how I make it. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is make our roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes. Now, the easiest way to do this is actually just making it exactly the way it says on the package in the microwave. So you're gonna add a half a cup of water and you're fueling, and then you're gonna just put it in the microwave for a minute and a half, stir it up, and it's made the creamy mashed potatoes. So a half a cup of water in there. We're gonna pour in our mashed potato fueling, and we're gonna mix. Now that we've got all the ingredients combined and it's kind of a watery texture, we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave for a minute and a half. Our 
creamy mashed potatoes have been microwaved and made per the instructions on the bag. We're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Okay, so our creamy garlic mashed potatoes have been made and now it's time to put them in our waffle maker. Okay, so I have been heating up our Dash Mini Waffle Maker and I know that it's hot because the blue light on top has turned off. So now that it's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna spray both sides of our waffle maker with our cooking spray. And now we're gonna put our mashed potatoes directly into the mini waffle maker. to add my everything but the bagel seasoning so that it cooks right into the waffle and then I want to slowly close our waffle iron so that nothing comes out of the side Okay, so because our mashed potatoes are not a typical waffle, it takes a little bit longer to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and leave our mashed potatoes in the mini waffle maker for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes in our Dash mini waffle maker, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out our garlic mashed potato waffle. So our garlic mashed potato waffle is done. It is crunchy and crispy. You can pick it up just like this and eat it like this, or you can do a fork and a knife. Our everything but the bagel seasoning is on the other side here, and then you can eat this however you want. It's basically like hash browns. You can also spread on top one of the Laughing Cow spreadable cheeses, or you can do a tablespoon of our Philadelphia reduced fat cream cheese if you want. Both are delicious. You can do whatever you want that tastes for what you you want to have for your fueling. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fueling hack video, part of my Schlee's health journey series. If you want to see more fueling hack videos from me during this series, please feel free to comment down below what your favorite fueling is. And if you'd like to see a hack for that to make it taste even more delicious. Thank you so, so much to everyone for supporting me on this journey. I know it is going to be some ups, some downs, but I'm really, really glad that I have a community of people that are rooting for me. And I am very, very glad to be on this program just because I know this is exactly what I need for my optimal health. If you like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!